Today I'm going to show you how to install the Truxedo Century CT on this 2017 Chevy Silverado 2500. Let's go ahead and get started. The first thing that we need to do is install our bulkhead seal to the bulkhead of our truck. Now, since we have a spray-in liner, what we need to do is actually scuff up the surface first and then we need to clean it with isopropyl alcohol and then we're going to use adhesion promoter to put our bulkhead seal onto our bulkhead. Now if you don't have the spray-in liner and you have a drop-in liner or just no liner at all, all you have to do is wipe it down with the isopropyl alcohol, let that dry, and then you can put this on. So we're just going to take some sandpaper and we're just going to scuff up where it's going to attach and that's going to be to the inside portion of the bulkhead. We're just going to go all the way down. Then we'll use our alcohol, wipe it down. Give that a couple seconds to dry. Now once that's dry, we're going to use our adhesion promoter. And again, just go along that entire area. Then we're going to take our bulkhead seal with our flap facing the inside of the truck and we're just going to peel a little bit off at first. Stick that on at the very end and then we're just going to peel a little bit as we go and work our way down our bulkhead. Making <clears throat> we're going to make sure that we're applying pressure all the way as we go down. Once we get down to the end, we can use a knife or a pair of scissors and just trim off the excess. And then go back down and just apply some more pressure all the way down. Next, we need to grab our passenger side rail our hook fastener is going to be at the top. We're going to have a foam side that's going to go towards our bed cap. And then our storage strap is going to go to the back of the rail. So once we have the correct side, we can go ahead and fit this up to our bed cap. And we're going to hold it in place with a couple squeeze clamps. Now on both sides of your rails, you're going to have a foam piece, and to position these correctly, you want to make sure that they're compressed about 50% on both sides, so at the tailgate and at the bulkhead. Now with our rail positioned correctly, we're going to take one of our clamps, and we're going to attach it with the bolt head facing out towards us. And we're just going to open it up and put it over our rail and on the underside of our bed cap. We're going to slide it as far towards the bulkhead as possible line up the grooves in our rail with the teeth in our clamp and we're going to use a half inch ratcheting wrench to tighten down this clamp. While we're tightening it down we also wanted to apply pressure to the top of the rail now our next clamp is going to install the same way we're going to put this one right about the middle of the rail Again, making sure that the teeth in our clamp match up with the grooves in the rail. Now 
And with those in, we can remove the clamps. Now our third clamp is gonna go as far back as possible towards the tailgate. Again, making sure everything lines up. Then we can go ahead and tighten this one down. Push down on it. Then you're gonna repeat that entire process on the other side. So now we can set our cover on our rails towards our bulkhead. Now there's gonna be a pin on our bulkhead piece on our cover that's gonna line up with a hole in our rail. So then we can just flip our top piece over, line up our pin and hole, and then drop it into place, and then we can go underneath and attach it. Now with our pin lined up, we can slide our locking slide over and it's gonna slide underneath of our rail, and that's what's gonna lock our cover to our rails. We're gonna do that on both sides. Now we can roll the cover back. And from here, we're just gonna check to see if we need to make any adjustments. Make sure everything lines up properly. That completes the installation. If you have any questions, give us a call or visit us online.